what to expect to earn when you become a tattoo artist rock star. Mm. What's up beautiful people? Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are not. My name is Jo and I'm a tattooist based in the south coast of the UK. Today I'm going to be talking about money. Something that we all kind of hate talking about, that we all kind of want to know about, that we all love, we all hate, we all kind of need some money. Today I'm going to be concentrating on what to expect to earn as a tattoo apprentice and I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to get that extra cash when you're a tattoo apprentice not really earning anything. In a future video I'm going to go into more about the juicy stuff once you kind of got going, once you've built up your clients and what sort of figures to be expecting once you're a full-blown tattoo artist. So grab a cover and get comfy. A lot of people want to get into tattooing not only because it's a pretty cool job, if you're artistic you want to be creative, you want to connect with people, you also might have seen or been tattooed by someone who's perhaps got a nice car, they've got a big chain, they're living their best life, traveling all over the world. But how long does it take and what do tattooists actually earn? First of all, you need an apprenticeship, someone to teach you or a studio to go to and learn the trade. Usually a tattoo apprenticeship is an unpaid position. However, when I first started out as a tattoo apprentice, I technically was a front of house or studio manager. So I actually got paid for the first year. I got £40 a day and that was to do all the cleaning, all the emails, the phone calls, looking after all the artists, cleaning, making tea, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Basically doing everything that the studio needed to keep going and ticking over. This is not always the case. There's no rules or regulations with how an apprenticeship works. Some roles are paid, but don't expect to be getting like minimum wage. It's kind of like however the studio want, wants to do it. I have a video on what to expect in an apprenticeship, which I will put up there. Also, your situation might be different. So if you're living at home and don't really have any expenses, then you're probably in a slightly better situation than someone with perhaps a family or a mortgage, bills to pay. If you are at home and you have less outgoings, you've got more time and that kind of freedom to not have to be earning loads of money to start with or enough money just to pay your bills. So therefore you could probably do a few more days rather than if you're someone with loads of bills, you might just want to start off with a Saturday or in the evenings and have a job as well at the same time. So it kind of depends on your situation. Generally, the more time you can put into it, the kind of quicker the apprenticeship will go. This can vary. Some places will let you tattoo straight away and get straight in there. Other places you might have to wait one, two, maybe even three years before you even start tattooing and earning a bit more money. It is worth having these chats with the person that is going to be teaching you and your expectations and their expectations. Just be clear and upfront right from the start with what you're able to do and give and then in return what they can give you. Don't want any surprises if you're like thinking that you're going to be tattooing next week and they're thinking in three years time I'm going to let them tattoo. You want to be on the same page. With myself personally I was the front of house studio manager for one year before I was allowed to tattoo and we're talking about 10 years ago now. Once my boss said get your mates, get tattooing, it was a case of finding anyone that was willing to get tattooed for free because I'd never done it before I wasn't going to charge and my boss was like you can't charge because you don't know what you're doing so I had to do quite a few tattoos I don't remember exactly how many but I probably did around 10 on friends family anyone that let me tattoo them for free before I was allowed to be unleashed on the public so again you're working for free 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 once I did start tattooing the general public you have to state that you are a tattoo apprentice and I charged 40 pounds per hour with my first tattoos other studios might work differently it took a long time to do any sort of tattoo but obviously I started off with small little names and little little ones so generally most of my tattoos were 40 or 80 pounds if it took me ages <laughs> bear in mind though if you're at a studio half of that is probably going to go to the studio so you're going to be earning 20 pounds an hour and you might only be doing one two tattoos a day so obviously the more tattoos you can do in a day the more you can earn 
but things do take longer than what you think when you first start and you don't want to be rushing because uh, like before you actually start tattooing you need to get all of your equipment so there's going to be a little bit up front that you need to dish out before you start earning some people might give you some hand-me-downs of machines and um, power supplies that they don't use anymore but generally you are expected to buy your setup because that's very personal to you and it's something that you need every day so i had to buy a machine a power supply clip cord and foot pedal generally the studio will supply everything else like gloves and general supplies 50 percent of my earnings went to the studio and then they supplied everything else so i did my first year so we're talking second year of my tattoo apprenticeship my first year actually tattooing i was charging 40 pounds per hour for my tattoos and obviously throughout the year i got more confident and i could fit more in during the day so therefore my earnings were going up throughout the year once you start tattooing and earning a little bit extra you might want to upgrade some of your equipment ipads are super expensive but you can buy them online second hand and get some good deals and i definitely advise an ipad for your designing so once you have started earning definitely invest in yourself make your life easier save a bit of time and invest in an ipad if that's something possible for you also your machine you're going to be using this stuff every day you want to make your life as easy as possible so it's worth investing that money when you first get it back into yourself into your business i'm going to give you some tips on how you could be earning money when you're not tattooing or when you're just first starting out and still not earning that much hopefully you are drawing quite a bit sell your drawings put them on etsy you can get your shop on instagram put them on your facebook do stuff around the year so like christmas prints valentine's get a calendar and market that stuff and sell your artwork you're going to be drawing a lot anyway so if you could sell it make some money on the side perfect hopefully there'll be some sort of market or fair art fair art shows in your area so you can take all your lovely creations and try to sell them there as well if you are on instagram and facebook which i strongly suggest do some art commissions even if some of those are free to start off with just to get your name out there show people what you're capable of then you can start charging and then you can start charging more because these things take time value your time you just need to get your name out there to start with make people aware of your lovely drawings that you're doing and you can kind of experiment with the price um obviously the more you charge maybe the less people go oh yeah that i can do that but don't undersell yourself because drawing takes time and you don't want to charge 10 pounds for something that takes you 10 hours the more experience you have the more you can charge it's kind of your discretion and the studio you're working with what you feel comfortable charging once i tattooed for two years then i changed my prices and again after for five years I changed them again and then last year I changed them again when it comes to how much you charge people are different whether they want to charge per piece or per hour I charge an hourly rate because that's something that I've always done and why would I do any changes Ooh. I charge people for my experience where I've tattooed who I've tattooed with my style and everything that I surround myself with it's the experience that I'm charging for as well not just my ability money is a tricky one to work out but you will work it out on your way don't charge too much to start with expect it to take around three to five years until you're kind of earning more of a tattoo artist style salary i hope you found this video useful please give me a thumbs up if you did hit the subscribe button hit the bell button hit all the buttons the like 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 thank you and i'll see you next time